Hi, this is your host, Pilin Bharatiya, and welcome to another episode of TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us once again, Margaret Hoogland, VP of Global Sales and Marketing at Sios Technology. Margaret, it's good to have you back on the show. Thank you, Swap. It's nice to be here. Yeah, Sios has announced Sios LifeKeeper for Linux version 9.7. Uh, before we get into this specific release, it would be great if you can just tell our audience, what is Sios LifeKeeper for Linux? Sios LifeKeeper for Linux is a high availability clustering software that protects critical applications such as SAP HANA, SQL Server, Oracle, from downtime and disasters. It works by detecting any kind of a failure on the uh, primary node, and then in the event of a failure, moving operation to a secondary node where it can continue and end users can continue to use their you know, critical application. Because Linux distribution, there are so many distributions. So which specific distributions are being supported? Um, so we support the major uh, Linux distributions, SUSE, Red Hat, uh, Oracle, Rocky, um, and that's very important. It's a good point that you raise because uh, several of our customers have applications running on several different Linux distributions. And by using SIOS, they can standardize their high availability environment and have the same experience regardless of the operating system. Now it's time for us to look at some of the new features of this release. We're very excited to announce a, a feature that we call HANA Multi-Target. And that feature is um, foundationally automating um, the, the process of uh, failing over to a secondary node, but also replicating to a third or even a fourth node for disaster recovery. So essentially in a standard cluster, you run your application on a single node and the clustering software uh, is replicating to a secondary node, your, your disk, and in the event of a failover, moves operation to that secondary node. If you need to move, if you need to replicate to a third node, um, that's a highly manual process with competing products. You have to do a lot of scripting and it's a, a quite cumbersome exercise. So the new HANA multi-target feature allows customers to have that third node in a geographically separated location for disaster recovery, use HANA system replication, replication, so it's in um, alignment with the SAP best practices. And in the event of a failure, we'll automatically fail over to the secondary node, continue operation, and most importantly, that secondary node will assume full uh, ownership of the primary node status and it will then replicate to the third node for maintaining your disaster recovery. Um, in a typical environment, when that happens, that's a, a crisis mode. You've got a downtime incident, and now customers have to do a lot of scripting um, in order to maintain their disaster recovery. And when they've resolved their issue, to restore operation to normal is a highly scripted and error prone process. We've eliminated all of that and automated uh, smooth and uh, consistent and reliable failover and disaster recovery environment. You brought the point of automation and automation is kind of becoming key. Even when we look at the cloud, let's get, talk a bit about how this release Kind of helps because teams are also transformed. We ran a whole series, and you know we had you know size also there. Uh, the whole cultural thing is also changing. So talk a bit about how this release kind of further help. I mean, you did touch upon that through automation, but I want to go just a bit deeper. How it helps teams with improving their high availability uh, data disaster recovery, you know, uh, strategies and uh, posture. High availability can be quite complex. To keep an application up and running, it needs to make sure that your network, your storage, your operating system, and your application, as well as your hardware, are all functional and operating smoothly. You also need to uh, fail over to a secondary node. And every application, every database has its own set of rules for interdependencies, boot order, um, what needs to be started up in what order, and so forth. And so um, 
in order to make that happen with other products, you, ha you need to know all of that very detailed and very subtle information, and you need to manually script that. And that can be quite cumbersome. We've taken all of that scripting and detailed knowledge out of the picture by automating the whole failover and replication change. You've uh, changed which node is replicating to which, which is um, quite complex. And we've eliminated the complexity. When we look at some of these features, of course, a lot of features are added based on your own roadmap, but sometimes it's also dependent on the customer feedback where you see where customer is heading. So can you also talk about, you know, what role customer feedback plays and what, uh, what you know, features were added uh, reacting to that? Silos is very oriented toward customer feedback. So our customer service team is in the same location as our engineering team and our pro product management team so that when customers give us feedback, all the people who are involved are there and we can make sure that that's integrated into our product development process. So we're very closely aligned. And this is a feature that came directly from customer feedback because customers in these large SAP environments with big HANA databases value the disaster recovery um, requirement and they value the automation that we can provide coupled with our deep knowledge of high availability and all of its subtleties. When we talk about uh, releases, whether they're dot release or major releases, sometimes upgrade, especially the, the industry or the segment that you operate in very, very sensitive, how easy it is to upgrade from previous release and also if there are any caveats here. There are no gotchas. This is a um, straightforward upgrade process. Um, of course, if you're extending to a disaster recovery location, one needs to uh, make sure you consult our documentation, which is available at support.us.sios.com. Um, that will walk you through any uh, steps you need to make sure that that happens smoothly and uh, reliably. Margaret, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about this release and also explain the role uh, this is playing in helping teams uh, as we talked about improve their HA and DR. Thanks for sharing those insights and I'd love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Great, thanks for inviting me, Swap. I appreciate it.